Hello guests, Ritzy Bellhop here, and today we're going to be discussing the best water bottle to keep you hydrated. But first, let's talk about why you would need a water bottle in the first place. After all, humans can live for up to 18 days without water, so why should it be optimal to carry around water with you all the time? There are a few marginal benefits to being exceptionally well hydrated, like better joint lubrication and overall higher energy levels. And while being hydrated will help with those things, it's not usually the only or even the biggest factor. However, there is one thing that can only be significantly helped through hydration. And that one thing is so bad, so terribly awful, that that one thing is reason enough to forever be drinking your daily 125 ounces of water. And that one thing, is kidney stones. Without enough water to dissolve the oxalate and the calcium in your kidneys, those minerals will begin to form crystals. And if those crystals become large enough before they shake loose and enter the ureter, you're gonna be in a world of pain. For reference, a significant number of women who have had kids and kidney stones describe kidney stones as being the more painful experience. And most men who have been unfortunate enough to have had experienced kidney stones and a gunshot wound describe them as being equal in pain intensity. I've experienced a kidney stone in the past and I certainly wouldn't want that kind of pain for anybody. Which brings me back to water bottles. For this video, I tested a number of different brands, including Hydro Flask, Brita, Yeti, Conmigo, Owala, Camelback, and other lesser known brands. And after experiencing so many, there are some features that I've really come to appreciate. Some of those features are no brainers and can be found in almost all the top brands, like being insulated to keep your water cold throughout the day or having a handle for easy carrying. But only one bottle had every feature that I really liked, and that one bottle was the Coleman Burst, which comes in two sizes, the 40 ounce version, which cannot fit in cup holders, and the 24 ounce version, which can fit in cup holders. The one I bought was the 24 ounce version for $30 on Amazon. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. The first thing I liked about the Coleman was the spring-loaded button top, which immediately placed it above certain competitors because it is so much easier than having to screw a cap on and off over and over. The other benefit of the Coleman Burst lid is its large plastic spout, which is far easier to wash and keep clean than the narrower straw spouts, like the ones that can be found on hydro flasks or camelback bottles. Speaking of keeping things clean, the lid of the burst has a lock feature, so you won't need to worry about accidental spills as it rummages about in your bag. Another small but appreciated feature about the burst is that it has a rubber pad at the bottom, which helps protect the bottom if you drop it and also mutes the metallic clang from setting the bottle down on hard surfaces. The insulation for this bottle is rated for 32 hours cold and nine hours hot. To put those insulation capabilities to the test, I filled the water bottle up with cold water and 12 ice cubes. And then I left it in a dark colored car in direct Florida sun from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in July. I was very impressed to see that even after the Florida stress test, there was still ice present in the bottle. And interestingly, the ice cubes appear to have morphed into a singular ice cube. Because it is so well insulated, you will find no condensation on the outside metal at all. The only spot where it appears is around the spout and only when it is completely full. The last reason why I'm recommending the Burst is because it's significantly heavier than many other bottles of its size. The reason why this is good is because I researched other people's drop tests and I discovered that 24 ounce bottles that weighed 400 grams or more did not dent very easily in those tests. Probably because the additional weight comes from the manufacturer using thicker metal to construct the bottle. One of the most helpful pieces of data I used to come to this conclusion comes from Project Farm's water bottle drop test video. If you'd like to see how water bottles of different weights perform in the dent test, I'll link that video for you here and in the description below. I managed to drop my burst twice since I bought it four months ago, once on asphalt and once on tile. So it does have a few scuffs if you look close, but still I'm very happy with the fact that there are no deep dents to be found as a result. 
In conclusion, with its impressive insulation capabilities, a cap that's easy to use and clean, and a weight that makes it more resistant to denting, I have found the Coleman Burst to be quite optimal. If you'd like to see some more unsponsored videos on optimal living, I've left them for you just to the right of the hat rack. And should you ever have need of a ritzy bellhop again, you can summon me by ringing that secret bell that appears after hitting the subscribe button.